back, Tim Graham, the director of media analysis at the Media Research Center, co-author of an article about cultural winners and losers for the year 2014. Tim, thanks for hanging in with us. Before we get to the winners, uh, is Bill Cosby perhaps the biggest cultural loser of 2014? It certainly looks that way in terms of just the uh, the image he has, the uh, the way that you know television networks now are beginning to pull down whatever shards of Cosby reruns they used to run. Uh, his comedy shows are being pulled. Uh, you know the actual live performances, uh, and you're at a point now where he's starting to run down the accusers. That doesn't look good. Uh, so it's it's gone quite badly for him over the last couple of months. All right, so who tops your list as far as winners are concerned? One of the things we noticed that the news media always tries to ignore is that the uh, movies that are pitched at Christian audiences or religious audiences tend to do well. The, the surprise this year was something called uh, Heaven is for Real uh, grossed $91 million this year. And, uh, you know, its biggest star being Greg Kinnear uh, the uh, there was also a movie called God's Not Dead with a evolution debate plot, not your normal Hollywood product that grossed about sixty million. As did Son of God, which was a sort of a rehash from the Bible series. They put all the Jesus sections together and made a, a movie that they put in the theaters. That also grossed sixty million dollars. So uh, faith and specifically Christianity, pays at the box office, no matter what the, uh, the dominant media culture would say in terms of ignoring the story. There is absolutely a market for, for films like this. And, you know, obviously the knock on it is always, the, the, the film critics would try to say these are bad movies. Uh, uh, you know, if, for example, they, they made another Left Behind movie this year with Nicolas Cage, which didn't do so well. Uh, the news media was absolutely ready to pounce on something like that and say it was a terrible movie. Not every religious movie does well, um, but when they do well, the networks and the, and the news media try hard not to notice. Tim, speaking of faith, let's talk about Pope Francis. Uh, where does he fall among the winners or losers, or does he at all? Well, uh, I think you can see that the news media thinks the last two popes were sort of like Rick Ronald Reagan's. I mean, these people always look at religious leaders and think politics. So Pope Francis to them is more like JFK or something. They, they have a tendency to um, really praise Pope Francis. He, he got very positive press. When you have the leader of the Roman Catholic Church on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, and it's not a vicious cartoon, uh, you know, that's a really sort of an astounding cultural mark. And I think it shows you liberals in this culture think Pope Francis is sort of one of us. Uh, Pope Francis is somebody that maybe we can sway to our side. That is sort of the feeling they have. They never really had that with, uh, with John Paul II or with Pope Benedict. And mindful of that, Tim, and mindful of uh, the Pope's statements about global warming over the past couple of days, in 2015, will that feeling on the left of some sort of cultural, pardon the expression, cultural soulmate, will it, it continue uh, to move forward? A minute remaining in our conversation, sir. Well, I mean, I obviously, uh, I think to a lot of Catholic conservatives, this whole notion of the Pope pronouncing on global warming is a little like the way that the bishops in the 1980s wanted to pronounce on nuclear disarmament. It tends to make you think, well, this is not exactly a core religious teaching. And the funniest thing is popes write all the time about the core religious teachings, and that bores the snot out of reporters. They're not interested in that at all. So uh, I think the real issue here is when the pope comes to America next year, what the church actually decides on these issues of divorced Catholics and gay Catholics, that's where the media is going to find the rubber hits the road, whether they're going to still like him or whether they're going to decide he's too conservative. And we have no doubt that the Media Research Center will continue its research and watching what comes in the year 2015. Tim Graham, thanks very much. And America's Forum continues right after this.